Just before I begin this video, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to my mate Vince for the shout out in his last trying to fix video. It really is very, very appreciated. And also an enormous thank you to all of the subscribers who come across and subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoy what you see. If you've got any constructive feedback, any comments, please, by all means, let me know and I'll uh, I'll see what I can do. Uh, but yeah, thanks. Thanks again to everyone. And my mate Vince, you're a legend, mate. Hello everyone, Steve again from Stesthix Fix. Um, now this is the um, Canon Legria HF R806 that I looked at in a previous video. Um, I was very, very lucky to get a number of comments from people um, that suggested what might be what might be wrong with it. Now, if you did watch that video, you'll see that I took out what I was calling a plastic shutter, or I didn't know what it was, but it was basically. Uh, it turns out to be the aperture, which I have heard of, and it makes perfect sense now. So I had a number of comments from, there was Tom Heck R, uh, Coral R Bear, I think it is, um, Nix Picks, and I think Saturn 9 Cinema was the guy who's most recently commented, uh, which I found very, very helpful. So it explained quite a lot about what it was, what it does. Um, and also what he thought might be wrong with it. Now he suggested that it could be the ribbon cable, which I did look at and it looked okay. Um, he suggested that it could be a problem with the chip, you know, in which case that might be a bit more tricky. Um, or it could be the, uh, the faulty actuator, which I think is what I was calling the motor. It's an actuator that just, you know, simply opens and, and closes the aperture. I think it's more likely to be that, because uh, the ribbon cable looked good the chip is incredibly clean. I can't see that it's failed, but you know, maybe it has. So, sorry, I've just uh, I've just fixed the Tamagotchi, and it's beeping in the background. <laughs> um, so yeah, the the aperture is important. Uh, I think from from what I'm I'm gathering, it's more important for sort of depth of field rather than. Because um, all, all the filming that I've been doing here is, is indoors, obviously. But if you were to take it outdoors, with it not being in there, because I took it out, it's going to let you know a lot of light in onto the sensor, as it's called, not the lens, as I was calling it. Um, now, indoors, it doesn't really make that much difference. But outdoors, it would do. But it also messes around with the, the depth of the image. So I think if I was to zoom in on something, everything in the background would be blurred, which, you know, some people do want to do that on purpose. Um, however, you won't get a choice with this. It, you know, it will it will always look like that. So, I mean, in an ideal world, I'd like to fix it so that it works as it should do from, from the factory. So I'm going to take it apart again. I'm going to have another look at that aperture that I took out. And I'm going to see if I can see if there's a problem with the actuator. Or um, the other thing that Saturn 9 Cinema said is that the aperture could be could have been stuck. Whether I can fix it or not, I don't know. But I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to have a look. So thanks very much for everyone's comments. Very, very helpful. Let's just see if I can have another go and, and get this one working 100%. So I'm going to take this apart again. I'm not going to film it because you've seen me taking it apart already. I'll take it apart and when I get to the the aperture point, then I'll uh, start filming again. Okay, so I'm back to the position um, where I was in the original video. And this is the aperture housing. So the aperture, the, the two pieces of plastic sort of sat between these two metal plates and under here Does that come out? There we go. So this here is the, well it must be the actuator 
Now, how do I test this? Right, so we've got this ribbon connector here, which connects to... Oh, that bloody Tom... I wish I hadn't fixed that Tamagotchi. Um, and the, the ribbon cable looks nice and clean, doesn't like there's any breaks in, there's no tears. So how do I get further into into this? If it is actually possible. So that's the mechanism that opens and closes the aperture. I mean, it's very simple. I just don't know how to test whether it works. You see all this bit it looks like one moulded piece to me. It doesn't look like that actually comes out. I mean it's possible it does but I just don't want to break it. So I wonder whether you, you need to replace this, this whole thing, but then how do you get to the... Yeah, I don't know. Right, just in case the problem was that, you know, it was stuck. I'm just going to clean it. I mean, it, it looks incredibly clean inside, so I can't see that being the problem. But it's not going to do it any harm. All right, now that's clean. I'm going to try and put these back in. Just in case, you know, they were stuck and it's possible that I loosen them while taking it apart. Let's put that bit back on. So now by moving this part here, these should open and close. There we go. Okay, well let's pop that all back in now. Just see whether cleaning it has, uh, has freed it up any. safe to say that that did not make any difference. Oh wow! Is it me or did that just open then? I hope I caught that on the camera. It's like it just all of a sudden sprung into life. 
And it's definitely in there now. It must be working. Oh, yes, I can tell it's working. I just... Let me put the SD card in and record this if I can. I can't. What I'm going to have to do, I'll put it all back together now. And then I think I can show you that it's working. Because uh, when I look up at my light, you can see it, um, it sort of reduces the light. So it must be closing the aperture. Oh, well, I'm, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Not 100% sure what I actually did. Um, maybe it did just need a clean or, you know, the, maybe one of the ribbon connectors wasn't in properly. But now it's all back in and all together. It, it does appear to be working. So I'm going to pop all this back together again now and then we'll give it another, give it another go. I genuinely didn't think that would work, <laughs> but happy days. All right, so that's it all fully back together. Let's... Um, Let's see what it's doing now. One's caps open. Yep. Yes, it is open. Oh, you are joking me. Oh. So now I've put it fully back together, it's it's not working. It's black screen again. But it worked. Right now I am, I am confused. What did I not have connected? This wasn't connected, was it? The front. Um, that's pretty much it. Everything else was connected, I think. Right. Let's open it up again. Right, I've disconnected the front part, which is basically how it was before when it was working. So I'm going to try it again now. No, it's nothing to do with that. How irritating. Right, so I think this is how I had it before when it worked. So let's just try it now. Oh. No. Now, if you remember when it did work, it took some time to come on, didn't it? No. What did I do to make it work last time then? Did I have the SD card in or not? I can't remember. It's got a battery in it as well. Oops. Um, maybe I should put that back in. Right, SD card connector is now in. No, oh. it was obviously just a bit of a fluke when it worked before. That's annoying. Right, I'm going to try and go a little bit further into this now, see if I can actually get this part apart.
And I've got a screw here. I'm wondering whether this connects this into two parts. Looks like it does. There we go. Wow. Okay. Now I am starting to get out of my depth. <laughs> I must run along there. Okay. So that's got to be for the zoom. Um, the aperture or the iris blades sits in there. Let's take that off. That bit comes off. Right. So what does this do? Is that the image stabilizer? Which is yeah, that's the rattly bit, isn't it? I think once again, I don't really know how that works. But it all looks perfectly clean and in perfect working order. Uh, I can't see anything wrong with that. Um, but as I've said numerous times, I don't really know what I'm looking at. Uh, this is literally the first time I've ever taken a, well, it's the second time I've ever taken a camcorder apart. Um, it all looks okay. I'm just confused as to why it did work for a few minutes. And then when I put it fully back together, it didn't. Um, and I've obviously taken everything apart now. It all looks like it's moving nice and freely. On the off chance that I've freed something up, I'm gonna, I am going to put it back together and, and give it another test. But, you know, this revisit might be a fail as well. Do I think this is going to work? No, I do not, but I am going to try. Right. Fingers and toes crossed. Oh my god, it's working. <laughs> I don't get it. Why is it working now? Maybe something was stuck. Now I've opened it up com completely, including the image stabilizery thing. Maybe I have loosened something up. Well, I'm not going to celebrate until this is fully back together and working, and I've turned it on and off several times. So let's try and do that once again. Now you can actually hear this sort of click open. Yeah, do you hear that click? I'll just put it up to the microphone. I'll turn it off and you'll hear it click closed. There we go. So I think that is now working okay. Whatever it was, I must have freed up. So it's going to go fully back together again now, and then we'll give it another test. Fingers crossed. Oh God, I really hope it, it it works. Right, I pop the SD card in, and I've lost count of how many times I've put this back together. Fingers crossed, this will now work. Let's give it a go.
Come on. Um, yep, we're open. Oh yes, there's a bit of a delay there. I think oh, I don't know. Maybe it's meant to do it like that. But yes, it's come on. Thank God for that. Let's just make sure the zoom works. Yes, it does. Right, I'm just going to record now because I think that by looking at directly at my studio light, for want of a better word, um, you can see the um, you can see the aperture closing to stop letting so much light in. Uh, hopefully, you'll you'll know what I mean when you look at the the recording. So I'm going to press record now. There we go. It's recording. So there's the light. As you can see, it starts off really bright, and then it goes, and it, it's obviously adjusting something. And if I come back down here, it will change, and it will open up, go back up there. There we go. So I think that's uh, proof that it is actually working, which is great. Will it be a long-term fix? I don't know. Uh, but it's working as it is now. I'd be a lot more comfortable opening this up again if I, if I needed to have a look at it but I suspect it was just something that, that was stuck that needed freeing up um, so I'll, I'll keep using it and I'll, I'll, I'll see how I get on with it but once again I'd just like to thank everybody in the comments um, because it now looks like it, it is working well, let's just turn it off and back on let's do that old test Yeah, okay, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's it's going to be okay, but I'll only know with use. Yeah, there we go. Um, so yeah, thanks very much uh, to, for all the comments. It was really super helpful, uh, and thanks very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe for more Can I Fix It and How-To videos. Successful revisit. Take care.